In this tutorial, we'll look at how to close a Bootstrap 5 modal with JavaScript. All right, so I have a simple example here. So right now I can open the modal by clicking on this button and I can close it by clicking on this cross button. But now we want to close it with vanilla JavaScript, right? So we're going to have to write some custom JavaScript here. And there, there's basically two steps that we need to do, right? So by the way, it's really important that you have mastered JavaScript and CSS if you want to work with Bootstrap. I have courses on them. If you want to take them to a professional advanced level, check out the links in the description. But first, we have to get a reference to the modal. So I have the modal here in the HTML. You can ignore everything else. It's right here. And I just collapsed this because there's quite a bit of HTML. It has an ID of booking modal. So first, we need to get a reference. So what we can do is we can say const my modal and then we can use one of uh, bootstrap's classes actually it's gonna look a little bit strange because um, we don't really have object oriented code that much these days anymore in in just vanilla javascript like this um, but that's how bootstrap um, has has uh, done it so here we have to use that id right so we say new bootstrap.modal and then we get um a reference to that modal it's not going to be an object um stored in this my modal uh, variable right so then what you can use is simply my modal dot hide whenever you want to hide it, right? So maybe I want to hide it after, I don't know, 10 seconds, right? So I'm going to use 10,000 milliseconds. Or actually, let's make it a little bit shorter. We don't have all day long. Let's make it three seconds. So I'm going to quickly open it up and then we're going to wait a couple seconds and see if it actually closes it. So I'm going to refresh the page, going to open it up. And now we're going to see if it, if it isn't, yeah. So you can see it closed, right? So I'm going to reload the page open it up quickly after the three seconds it, it closes it right so what does not work by the way right so this should actually be step two here right right so a, a mistake that many people make is they use something like um, document get element by id right booking modal and then you know you get some uh you get you store the element in here and then they try to do that on that element or, or, or on that variable, this will not work, right? So this will not work. Also, you need to make sure that um, you're linking correctly to the Bootstrap JavaScript, right? So here um, you can find the, the, the CDN links on their homepage, getbootstrap.com. We're in version five, so make sure you get the right version. It includes popper. And I'm linking to it here in the head with the defer attribute. Right, so it will not block parsing the rest of the page. And then after that, I'm linking to my own script. Right, so with defer, it respects the order. Right, so my script comes later because in our, in this script, we need to get access to this bootstrap class. Right, so make sure you understand JavaScript. It only takes a couple of hours to really, you know, fine tune it and really get to that professional level. So check out my course on that. Um, you can get a, you can get a reference to the model uh, differently as well. There's another. Uh, method actually, which is the following. You can also just use bootstrap dot modal dot get or create instance, and then you still have to use that ID. So with this method, right? So now it's without new. So make sure you remove new the new keyword. Uh, let's see if this works actually. So I'm going to refresh. I'm going to open it up, and we'll see if it if it gets hidden, and it indeed does. So with this method, it's going to check if you already created an instance before, and if that's true, it's going to get it. Otherwise, it will just create it right now. So it's basically the same thing. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.